<laughs> Sir, there's been a breach. The solar panels are leaking sunlight back into the atmosphere. Quick, put down the blast shields. It won't be long until we're totally blinded by those damaged panels. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. That's not how solar panels work. That's not how any of this works. First of all, solar panels can't leak out sunlight. Second of all, maybe I should just start from the beginning. Alright, we all know what solar panels are, right? Well, anyways, long story short, they basically absorb sunlight to make electrical energy with no air or water pollution in the process. Did you know that Wait for Wait advanced silicon-based solar cells generate the same amount of electricity over their lifetime as nuclear fuel rods without the hazardous waste? Wait, wait, you're telling me we have a clean energy solution? Why don't we all have this? Well, they are a tad expensive. Around $7,000 to hook up some to a house. 7000 Never mind, then. I can feel my wallet shrinking already. But see, that's the thing. We need engineers to make solar panels more affordable. Think about it. What if you could turn your house to completely solar energy for an affordable budget? That could mean drastically reduced electricity bills, not to mention the whole no pollution thing. Manufacturing solar cells produces 90% less pollutants than conventional fossil fuel technologies. Well, yeah, duh. That's a no-brainer. Of course I get solar panels. And that's why it's important to cut down the costs of solar panels. It could become the best way to provide clean, long-lasting electricity. I mean, the sun's not going out. Actually, the sun will expand to a red dwarf and fry the earth in about five billion years. Anytime soon. And there's no risk of a solar meltdown. Cheap, affordable solar panels could mean a cleaner, better world.